love this game. I saw on Steam when I was looking for games similar, similar to what I'm playing on my YouTube channel at the minute because I was looking for another one to do. So I've kind of been in the theme of playing those crappy visual novel dating sims because I find them hilarious and they're so much fun to play. So I've been playing like um, Always Remember Me. Um, I played some Honey Pop a while back. I've been playing Sound of Drop Fall into Poison, which isn't actually a dating sim, it's just like a spooky visual novel anime style thing which is it's actually really cool and so I was looking for games like that and this was on my recommended and I was like eh, it's free it's probably gonna be terrible I guess I'll have a look at it and I started watching the trailer and right at the start of the trailer it has like warnings saying if you're a child don't play this or if you have a nervous disposition or you know if you have depression and anxiety don't play this and it's like whoa what <laughs> I thought this was just a dating sim. So then I had a look at the reviews. <laughs> I didn't look at any walkthroughs or anything, I haven't seen any spoilers. But one of the first reviews I saw was, this game will fuck you up. So <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I have no idea what this game is about. <coughs> I don't know whether, I, I don't know. I don't know whether it's like a horror or whether it's just like a massive troll and it's actually just a crappy dating sim. I have no idea. Beyond that, I didn't look at it at all, but I do know it's been getting quite a lot of publicity, let's say. A lot of people have been playing it, so I really don't know what to expect. But I mean, I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'm excited. We'll see. We'll see. Right, I'm going to jump straight in and start a new game. Please enter your name. Oh my god, I'm excited. Oh, there's no music up. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do those girl voices, aren't I? I don't have those girl voices. Oh, I can hear the music now. Wonderful stuff. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. So I guess I'm playing the dude and I'm trying to get laid, basically. Is that the idea? Shoot, the idea. <laughs> That girl is Sayori, my neighbour and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. Okay. We used to watch school together on days like this, but starting around high school we would, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. Because she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost left again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that that you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kemiko. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, but I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. Oh, you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have an enemy to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school, which is adorable. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Gamiko, have you decided on the club to join yet? Uh, the literature club? Uh, <laughs> a club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true! You told me you would join a club this year! Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. One of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. <laughs> oh, she's so cute! Sayori so likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh my god, we're late. Uh-huh! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or only schools before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat. A neat? It appears because you're not used to the real world. The hell is a neat? I am going to Google neat, because I, I don't know this place. Neat. 
A neat is a young person who is not in education, employment, or training. Urban Dictionary, let's see what they have to say. Another person person enjoyment of ambition. So it's, it's like a shutaway. So it's basically like a nerdy shutaway who does nothing but play games and watch enemy. So me, basically. <laughs> Okie dokie, good. Trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! I <laughs> love her. Why do I let myself get lotioned by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I didn't let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. So she's got to be a dated character, right? I'm scared! I'm scared because... I don't... I'm treating this like a normal dating sim, but he clearly isn't if it's got those warnings on it and I don't know what to expect. I guess I should look out for any signs that it's like fucked up. Oh. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I could pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Ugh. So you want me to check out some clubs? Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hell yeah! Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realise that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. <laughs> yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Hey, meanie. <laughs> She's so cute, look at her face. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Oh, what a surprise! Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought she would, it would be fun to help start a new club. So she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club. She inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? I tried the club yesterday, I would bring a new member. Uh, I get it. I get it. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> I love it. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sora is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning to, as to have planned this all out. Oh, I bet she's just that cunning. And that long sigh. Fine, stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Oh god. I'm scared. <laughs> what is gonna happen? What is this game? And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. What? What does that mean? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Huh? I can't surround the room. Girl one. Oh, she's adorable. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. So he always says nice things about you. Seriously, but a boy. <laughs> I don't have many voices, I'm so sorry. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Kamiko, what a nice surprise. Girl 3. Do they have names? Welcome to the club. What was escaped me in this situation? This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Oh my gosh. 
What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry? Natsuki. Huh. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognise. The small figure makes me think she's probably your first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh. Oh. I can right click and get rid of the text box, that confused me. <laughs> Suri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, she's the shy, cute one. Oh, I love her. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right! It's great to see you again, Kamiko. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh. Okay. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, I see. Monica was probably the most popular in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> Saving a smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Kamiko. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Sayori mentioned it's been a wide it's been widened so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh my god, that's so cute! The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate they used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! So he will talk to the mouth for one has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Why? Oh my god, I'm so suspicious of everything. <laughs> is she waiting for me to take a bite? Why would she be waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Oh my god! Why is this game so... odd? <laughs> I'm so worried something just completely weird's gonna happen. Oh god. Anything? Huh? I thought you definitely did. So you always said, "Well, maybe." <laughs> but not for y you, you know, you, dummy. Oh, I know, right? We give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry. He just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... I guess. I don't read books. <laughs> I, I just play games. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> that, 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 that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Oh. I, I meant that... You know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. 
Monica makes an eyebrow and smiles at me. Why has she got like such a straight posture? It's a little weird. So what made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically jagged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't enjoyed it. I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed to really ha seemed really happy here. So that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of uh, any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics of major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I've run out of voices, so she's just got my voice, you're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like the literature. Wait, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out this game as we go along. Maybe, maybe it's too early for that. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same girl. Gu girl. <laughs> in the same girl? <laughs> in the same girl. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about the literature. So, Kemiko, what kind of things do you like to read? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Leslie's head suddenly perks up. Let's say she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, not much of a reader then, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh my god, I'm just trying to bone. What it is. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that go deep and complex fantasy worlds. Oh my god. Lord of the Rings. I like Lord of the Rings. Very good. And Game of Thrones. I've got, in fact, I've got both of them right behind me. <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of her own lack of imagination? completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay... Ah, I've read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at the minimal level. This way, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Someone that's lived as gentle as you. <laughs> Real horror is often very successful. God, why can't I speak today? 
successful at changing the way you look at the world, only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Dusky's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Why does she keep looking at me? It's cute and creepy, go away. <laughs> That's right, you usually write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last meeting. I lo it looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Hey, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems! Everything you do is just as cute as you are! Sayori so sars up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! That's cute. You write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! That's cute, but her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Nah, not very comfortable right yet. I feel like my character's a bit of a dick. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's joined a such ditch club just to get laid. I mean. Maybe. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kamiko? Monica smiles will meet me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of rejoining the club, I've probably come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sarui may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. Oh my god, they're looking at me. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> All four girls stare back at me with de dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> Kamiko... You... You all... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. Oh my god. I am a cock. <laughs> I'll join the literature club. One by one the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Wait, already? That's so short. <laughs> everyone remember tonight's assignment? Yes, you just said it. Write a poem and break to the next meeting so we can all share. Mother clicks over at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> do you now, Monica? I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I really impress this class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up the food. Don't tell me if I got to actually write a poem. Hey, Kamiko, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. <coughs> sure, might as well. Yay! Oh, she's so cute. 
with that, the two of us depart the class and we'll make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh yeah. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh god, really? Oh my god, what? It's time to write a poem! Pick words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh my god. Oh, so who do we like the most? Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri. I mean, I said I like Yuri from the start, because she's got that, like, gothy, dark purple hair, which is adorable, and she's all shy. I don't know. I mean, is it like Always Remember Me, where you have to, like, pick straight away and then just focus on that girl? I mean, again, does it even matter at all? Because is this really a dating sim, or is this some fucked up horror game? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really wish I'd look into this game more. Fuck it. I'm gonna go for Yuri, because I think she's cute, and why not, right? So, she likes horror and deep things, right? Natsuki likes cute things, and Sayori, I don't know, maybe like things like joy, happy things for Sayori? It's hard to tell at this point. Fulgant, I don't even know what that means. Oh, oh maybe big words for her, she's like the smartest. <laughs> okay, um, vivid, oh yeah, extraordinary, oh no, that's Sayori, damn it, fight! Uh, how many do I have to do? Oh, 20. Melancholy. Ambient. Oh, she's gonna fucking love my girl. Anime. <laughs> That's gonna be nasty. Misfortune. How is that Sayori? Suicide. Uh, fear. Okay, I misinterpreted <laughs> Sayori's completely intellectual. That's gonna be her, yeah. Grief, no? Climax? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Disaster. Heaven sent. Uh, disarray. Horror. Hopeless. Oh shit. Uh, unstrained. Disoriented. Incongruent. Oh. Fucking nailed it! Yuri's gonna love me! Hi again, Kamiko! That's you, you didn't run away on us. Nah, no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept to my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. <laughs> I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kamiko. Oh, you're alright, Yuri. Look at you, you're adorable. I hope this isn't too overwhelming on a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Well, come on, Maggie deserves any slack. <laughs> Fuck you, Natsuki, what the hell? So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan just to come here to hang out or what. But you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Okay, that was scary, me, Natsuki. <laughs> I'm really suspicious of this game. Natsuki! You certainly have a big mouth if somebody keeps a manga collection in the club room! Oh shit, son! <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Damn right it is, girl. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys! Kemiko always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Yeah, I'm a great house hunter. Thanks, Sayori. <laughs> How dependable. I know, right? Sayori, that's because your room is so messy and it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, damn girl. 
Oh come, you and Kami can become, become good friends too. Uh, um, Sayori. <laughs> hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Uh, wait, Sayori? Eh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! It, it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori makes it sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. Ugh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Oh, smooth. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Oh wait. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. <laughs> 